Clinton Jaws, guys. There's a website out there. It's called ClintonJaws.com. You get one of these. It's depot. It's not depot. And you wouldn't believe how many people say that. How many people call it depot? I don't know where they get it. Obviously, they get it from Home Depot. I remember I once worked with a guy when I worked at Budget Rent-A-Car, washing vehicles. And we're in a vehicle we're driving. And there's a sign on the side of the road. He reads it out loud. Live to surf, he says. I'm like, Al, it's live to surf? Live to surf. I'm going to tell you guys about the pair test today. I'm going to give you a pointer, and I really want you guys to hear my words. And I swear to you, if you listen to me, you're going to shave a lot of time off your pair test. Why is Clint talking about the pair test again? <sighs> because it's just for RCMP. This is the thing. Okay. I have people that message me. I would never say who it is. That message me from Depot, and they keep me updated, and they tell me how they're doing. More than one person is telling me that uh, they're not doing so good on their pair tests. One guy's got a 426. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you how you could easily shave 26 seconds off your pair test. And there would be nothing worse. I don't know when you take your final pair, but it would be nothing worse. You go up to the only reason you can't get your badge, the only reason they don't give you a badge is because you failed the pair test by one second. I'm going to show you my pair test, the end of it. I'm going to show you how scrawny I was. It's kind of embarrassing for me to show you this. And I'm still heated. I'm heated over my pair test. I'm, I'm upset because I, went, I was going for under three. It should have happened. It didn't happen. I'll tell you why it didn't happen. I'll give you two reasons why it didn't happen. Well, maybe three. I smoke like a chimney. Actually, why don't we just start with that? Let's just start with me and the pair. We're really quick because I did other videos. I did the pair test, one, two, three, I think three times before I did my final pair. When I went to depot, we had to do the pair three times. Before we went to depot, I had to do it once. I only did it once. I did it once in Nanaimo and I did it two other times in depot and then the final pair comes along. What they taught us was when you're doing the push, pull and the pull, when you're doing the pull, you have to put your foot to the wall. You can't push that foot. You can't push off the wall, but you have to put your foot to the wall. Now, what does it look like to anybody that's looking when they see the foot go all the way to the wall? I'll explain to you what I mean with the video. It looks like you're pushing off the wall. I wasn't pushing off the wall. It looks like I, even when I'm looking at the video, it looks like I, I was, but I remember Everybody's saying, you know, watch the wall, Clint, watch the wall. Well, in my mind, I'm saying, I'm not pushing off of it. But I know because I've been taught my foot has to go all the way to the wall. That's how I was taught. All of a sudden, it changed on the final pair. It was like you weren't allowed to touch the wall at all with your foot. And I'm thinking, then why do you even have a wall? Why is there a wall? Get rid of the wall. And if you want to do it fast, if you want to do the pull fast, it's going to look like you're pushing off the wall. Every time you go to do something fast, say you do a fast push up, it doesn't look like you're going all the way up. You do a fast pull on the push and pull, it looks like you're pushing off the wall. Oh my God. <laughs> Is this how I'm going to start the video? I'm finally at depot. If I got under three <laughs> on the paratest, I was going to get superior in, I don't know what he called it, PD something. I don't even know. Jim? Let's call it Jim. How about that? Okay, here's me. I just finished doing the push. Now, what happens when you finish doing the push? You got, we had to touch a wall. Some people, I don't know what you guys are doing in depot right now. Either you're touching the wall or you're touching the bar of the push pull and then getting up. But you have to touch the wall. You have to, t and I'm going to, I'm going to go into great detail about this. So I'll just save that. This is me touching. They cut, they cut out. But. Just watch me touch the wall. I think you may be able to maybe see it once here. Okay. Now everybody's yelling because they know I'm going to get under three. That's what everybody thinks. Look what I do when I go to pull. Go on, go on, Clint, 10 seconds, go. Uh. go, go, go. 
That's two or three seconds right there, you idiot. I can't get it. Fumbling fool. What is that? Now here, I'm giving her. I'm giving her, okay? Touching the wall? I'm touching the wall. Now I want you to see that. It looks like I'm pushing off the wall. But I'm, I swear to you, if I was, I would tell you the truth. I'm not. I'm just making sure my foot contacts the wall. I'm not pushing. Stay off the wall. Not pushing. Now, did you hear that? Did you hear that? She just added another one. She's giving me a penalty. <laughs> I'm so worked up. I'm still mad to this day. Why did she give me a penalty? I'll show you. Because of this push off right here. I'm not pushing off. Four. Now I'm pissed. Now I'm angry. Three oh five. Would I have got under three? I don't know. I think I would have. With that penalty, maybe not. Maybe three. But look how angry I am right now. I'm like, I, I just want to hurt somebody. All of a sudden, you're gonna punish. You're gonna enforce this wall thing that I've never even heard of. No Russians all, you know. Oh, did you get three oh five? We got, uh, like, he's talking to her. He's like, uh, he actually, he came up to me after. Because I, I'm just, I'm, di I'm just about dying. He comes up to, up to me after. I'll show you. And he goes, uh, hey, Clint, um, she said you could do it again to get your superior. And I'm like, not doing it again for free. I remember it like yesterday, guys. Watch the guy try to shake my hand here, okay? It's my facilitator. I'm walking into a room. I don't want anybody around me. I think I'm going to die. I actually think I'm going to die. See the hand come out? And I'm just like, he looked at me when I kept on walking and he went oh, like he was pissed off at me. Watch. I don't know why I'm showing you this. It's just a memory. Puts his hand out. I'm like, I'm not going to. And then I'm like, okay, I will. I bend over. Death is near. Why am I telling you all this? Because I learned something. I learned something on the final pair, on pair test four, by watching Morgan Buckingham. And this is this is a big deal. There's a part where you have to touch a wall like I was talking about, okay? After your push, you go to a wall or you go to the bar or the push pole and you go on your stomach, you get up, you touch the wall, you go on your back, you get up, you touch the wall, you go on your stomach, you do that four times. And when I watched Buckingham do that, I was like, like he was a, he was an absolute maniac when he was doing the touch the wall part. And I'm like, I can get up that fast. Why aren't I getting up that fast? I never got up that fast before. That's all I have to do. I always tell my son before, before a hockey game, I'm like, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? And he always says, I'm going to skate fast dad. And I'm like, no, no, you're not. You're going to go as fast as you can. That's how you deal with touching the wall. You don't go fast. You don't go mediocre. You go as fast as you can. I seen Buckingham do it. And I shaved seven seconds off that part just by watching him do it. It doesn't matter how tired you are. You have energy, I promise you, that you can go as fast as you can during that part. Now, 426, say you got 426 on the pair and you need to get under four. You just shaved seven seconds off that, that part alone. You shave another 12 seconds by doing the six laps two seconds faster. That's easy. You can increase your lap time by two seconds. That's 12 seconds. 12 plus seven, I don't know, that's 19. You need another set. You need to make up another seven seconds to get under four, around there. And I just realized maybe I should show you at the end of this <laughs> what I mean by touching the wall or getting up really quickly, and and just absolutely flying through that part of the pair test. I don't even know. I'm I'm old now. I don't know if I could demonstrate it, but maybe I'll try at the end. I know I'm all over the place here, but stick with me, guys. I'm going to show you this. 
four controlled falls in the pair test. This, this is this is what this person says about it. And I'm not putting down anybody, okay? You can say whatever you want to say. It's just that when you go online and you see these YouTube videos, they're teaching you, I think, in an incorrect way. Test when you're feeling quite tired, so they can often take longer than you want them to. We want those four falls coming in under 15 seconds if possible. So she's fine with 14 seconds. No, that's not good. That's not good enough. I'm telling you right now, you could do it in seven and I'll prove it to you. Faster. Faster than seven. How about that? How do you save additional time? And I'm not talking about a little bit of time. I'm talking about a ton of time. This is how you do it. This is how a lot of people actually do the poll, guys. I timed it. I'll save you the <laughs> pain. 26 seconds it took him to do the poll. I know he's instructing it, but he's teaching it that way. And people in my troop were doing the poll that slow. Here's another video on YouTube showing you the poll. One. Two. <laughs> took him 26 seconds to do it. I did my poll in 17 seconds. And that wasn't even quick enough. It could have been quicker. How do you go faster with the pull? You pull like Becky Swan pulls. That's it. 302, Becky. You got this. Go, go, go. That's it. One. Let's go, Becky. Two. Great, Becky. Let's go. Three. Come on, Becky. Four. Come on, Becky. Let's go. Five. Come on, Becky. Let's go. And six. Go fast, three, two, one. Guys. You got to go as fast as you can with the pull. You got to go faster than how you're going now. Pull it back like a windmill. I don't know. You'll feel it when you do it. You're almost off balance. Just lay back and slingshot yourself back and forth. It doesn't take 26 seconds to do the pull. It takes 17 seconds to do the pull. That really is how you make up. That's how you make up the time. That's how you go from 426 under 4. And really, it's easy things. Yeah, practice it. I'm not telling you to go out and do the whole pair test every now and then. That's pretty hard on the body. But when you're, if you're at depot, go to the pole. Practice that part of it. Practice the part of touching the wall or whatever you have to touch now, going on your stomach, touching the wall, going on your back. Practice those things. You could do that right in your pit. And if you need more time than that, I mean, I'm pre being pretty generous. Like when I say your sixth obstacle, I hate saying obstacle because the commissioner said that, but your six laps, you can easily, easily save two seconds a lap. You could probably easily save four seconds a lap. You just run faster. I might play something at the end of this. I don't know. I've had a glass of wine. I don't know if I want to do this, but I might. And subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Go, go, go. What? Stay off the wall, well, that looked like a push off the wall. I guess, I guess that rule only comes in effect if it's me, if your name is Clinton Joss. See, I'm still heated over this. Just watching this stuff. See, he's not pushing off, but he knows that he has to put his foot to the wall because that's how we were trained to do it. But new people come in and they enforce this rule on the final pair. Brutal. It's another push off. I don't know what the hell, hell that is. That is a baby circle. That's not even an arc. I don't know how she got it. Well, who's show? Oh, yeah. It's another girl who's overseeing her. What? What? You're not even doing the full pull. Oh, touching the wall. Oh, Buckingham's going to touch the wall here. Oh, that looked like a push off, didn't it? Not when you're going for the record. And that was kind of cool, man. He kicked butt at that pair test. And he should be feel proud and he should feel good. But I didn't see any sanctions there. Is there any more? Pushing off the wall. Oh, look at this. Look at this one. Let's. <laughs> oh, my God. He didn't go all the way to the wall. So instead of having to do another one, he gets to just retreat a cup a foot. That's it, that's it. Go all the way, all the way. Come on. Three. 
Joke. What a joke. You get a bunch of these. I don't even want to talk about it.